going on everybody it is aaron cates and welcome back to the channel now today we are going to be painting our brake calipers this is something i've had in mind for a little while and honestly it's such a easy little touch that makes a big difference it's a lot of the things i preach to you guys about little things that a lot of people don't notice and that's what makes your build stand out compared to theirs now this paint cost me eight i think it was like 88 dollars in total everything i used will be linked down below i bought it all off of amazon i know uh, I've watched quite a few videos of people using caliper paint, high heat paint, all things from like VHT and stuff like that. And they didn't have the color I was wanting. So I did a little bit more research and I kind of had it in mind. And there was another video I saw on YouTube where someone did it. They said it worked out well, but you know, you never know until you try. So we're going to be using normal spray paint, normal spray paint to paint our calipers, but we're going to be using high temp primer and high temp clear so hopefully that normal spray paint will hold up but the test will be at the end of the video on whether it holds up i'll drive all week on them and then i'll pick you guys up after that week to see if the colors changed at all i'm sure it'll be a little bit dirtier but to see if just the normal color itself has changed we're going to get into what all you need to do to paint your calipers now of course you could paint them while they're still on the rotor itself which I kind of debated on doing, and it's probably what I will do with the back ones. But as for the front ones, I am replacing my wheel hubs right now. The passenger side one is on its way out, and I I goofed up in the past, and I only replaced the driver side one. I should have replaced both, and that's what I'm doing now. So I know they're both the same age, the same wear, everything like that. So we're going to be replacing the wheel hubs on the front. I won't be recording that because, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but... Since we're replacing the front ones, we're going to take the calipers off anyways. We'll paint them while they're off, but we will be painting the rear calipers while they're on to save us some time on taking everything apart. Sadly, I have these wheel lights and I can't take the caliper off without taking the wheel lights off. So we're going to be taking at least the ring itself off to paint these calipers. So I have my two screws on the dust shield, but let's see what all we have to take off for the caliper. We have two 15 millimeter bolts right here i believe they're 15 but we have those two bolts and they're what hold it to the spindle that is all you have to take off to get your caliper off so i'm not going to bore you guys with the time lapse because i have to do both sides but we're going to get these wheel rings off and we're going to get these calipers off that way we can get started painting them okay and now that you have everything apart and by the way i was wrong the brake caliper bolts are 18 millimeter not 15 i was way off there i apologize but they are 15 or yeah damn it they are 18 millimeter bolts once you get those two out set it somewhere where it's not not a lot of tension on the brake line i'll show you the other side we've got it on a five gallon bucket over here we've got my wheel hub out this wheel hub was absolutely trashed uh, i threw it in the trash can now what i'm going to do is i'm gonna go around i'm gonna leave the rear wheel lights on i can actually get paint in between there but i'm gonna tape off the wheel lights but now what you want to do is you want to tape off anything you don't want paint on. So like right here on this brake line, this little rubber grommet, uh, doesn't really matter if the bolt hole or if the bolt has paint on it, but you want to make sure like your slide, things like that don't have paint on them, but I'm going to go around, tape everything off front and back. And I'm actually going to tape off some of the spindle because I'm going to spray gloss black on that just so it doesn't get have that rust look to it and uh, i'll pick you guys up once i have everything taped off all right everybody as you can see everything is taped up i taped off the slide and part of the brake line i don't really care if that metal bracket gets any tape on it but this is the paint we're going to be using this is the primer this is the vht flame proof it's up to 1300 to 2000 degrees fahrenheit the brake should never get that hot but we're going to be spraying this on all four i'll walk you around and show you the tape job on the back as you can see, I taped off the rotor, part of the spacer, the wheel lights, and I taped off the brake line in the back. Now, guys, honestly, I'm going to be straight up with you. This paint job is not going to be perfect. This is not going to look like Brembo brakes that come out powder coated. If you want something to look like that, take your brakes off or order new brakes, send them to a shop to be sandblasted and powder coated because that's how you're going to get that finish. You're not going to get that finish by doing this at home because they have to be perfectly smooth to come out like that. I'm sure you could sit here and wire wheel and then sand 
and spend hours upon hours doing it at home. But at that point, you could have paid somebody to do it. I mean, honestly, unless you have a sandblaster and you're able to powder coat at home, you're not gonna get a finish like that. Now we still can get a good finish, but it's not gonna be like the Brembo that looks like glass when it's powder coated. But let's get right in. We're gonna spray, spray this primer on all four and we're gonna do I'm gonna try to get two or three coats out of this on all four. I bought three cans and let it sit for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna spray a color, then we'll spray a clear. So I'm gonna throw you all up on time lapse. Brother, sister, can you hear that? Our heartbeat cutting through the ether. Start all right, everybody, I've thrown two coats on them. And I honestly must say, the ones that are off are harder to paint than the ones that are on. The ones that are on, uh, they're in one spot. You can reach everything that's visible. You know what's visible, so you know what you have to hit so people can see it. Uh, the ones that are off are kind of a pain because the brake line's not long enough to move it anywhere. So the whole time you're fighting with it. But I've got two coats on. I'm going to wait a little bit, throw a third coat on. Then it's 30 minutes to dry. And then we can throw color on there. Can you feel that one love can make us all believers? A generation of renegades, we don't have to stay alone. All three coats are on. I'm sorry I'm not doing a lot of time lapse. You guys can't really see too much up close when I'm painting because I can't get the camera that close without getting paint on the camera. But it's just you're spray painting a caliper with spray paint. I went over the spindle with it, and guys, I'm not worried about the overspray. All this is going to get painted black, and I plan on getting a new lift soon, powder, and it'll be powder coated. So don't really worry about that too much. I'm just painting it all black so it doesn't look like rust right now. But it's not rust on it, guys. Um, what do you think I'm painting over rust? But all three coats are on there. I'm going to wait about 15 more minutes than I did about 15 minutes ago. And because it says you can do the base coat 30 minutes after primer. So I'm going to wait about 15 more minutes and then we'll throw the base coat on there. And let me just show you guys the base coat. This right here is the base coat. It is Krylon Rich Plum. It is a gloss color. I wanted it to be kind of gloss but not stand out too much because the truck is matte. But let me show you the comparison of it and the color of the truck. Look at that. Almost identical. And the fact that it'll be on the caliper, you won't really be able to tell too much of a difference in that color difference but this is what is doing on the calipers this is going to match the truck a little bit and if i ever decide to change the color of the wrap i can always either buy new calipers one or redo this whole process and paint them a different color but i figured this would be a nice touch to tie in the purple truck with some purple calipers and been debating on when I get the new lift, either powdering it silver or powdering it purple. So let, drop a comment down below, guys. Let me know what you think I should do, whether it be purple or silver. But like I said, I'm not going to bore you with another time lapse of me just spraying paint. You guys have seen people spray paint before. You've probably sprayed paint before. You don't want to watch me spray paint. So I'm going to let this dry for another 15 minutes, like I said, and throw this paint on here. And then I'll show you what clear I'm using. And we'll go on from there. All right, y'all. I got the driver's side back together. I haven't sprayed the clear. As you can tell, I accidentally sprayed some black on the rotor, trying to touch up where my hand messed up the paint a little bit. And I did spray my rotors right here. This paint will wear off with the brake pads. You don't have to worry about that. But I'm going to spray the clear while this is on. I want to make sure I could get any spots like that that might be noticeable. And as like I said earlier, it's easier to paint the rears that were left on because... You can see what can be seen and what can't be seen so you know what to spray well i had to put it back on just to see that but wheel hubs are in rotor is on and caliper is on now it's left is clear and i don't mind if everything that's clear on it paint will wear off your brake rotors guys you don't have to worry about getting a little bit of overspray on it your brake pads will wear it off it's not going to prevent you from braking it'll just burn off at least it has in the past for me i don't recommend you doing it i have to uh, I know put out liability issues so don't do what you see here at home unless you know you're a trained professional like I am but I'm gonna the other side back together I'll show you what clear I'm using but guys already I am in love with it have it all back together this is the clear we're going to be using it is a satin clear like I said I didn't want to get a gloss because the truck is matte 
that would kind of be pointless to have everything gloss and then a matte truck but we have these satin clear we're going to clear all of the calipers and now as you can see it is all back together i am going to leave everything that is taped up still i'm going to leave taped up but like i said what clear gets on stuff it's not going to hurt anything to have clear on it but everything is still taped up back here sadly the sun is going down i'm running out of daylight so i may have to show you the finished product in the daylight tomorrow so like i said i'm gonna throw this clear on here and i'll pick you up either tonight if it's still light enough or i'll pick you up tomorrow all right everybody we still have a little bit of daylight left and i just finished the third coat of clear as you can tell it's very shiny because it's still wet right now but this color absolutely pops with that black rotor let's walk to the back it looks killer i absolutely love it i can't wait to see it with the wheels on and i apologize that this video has kind of been all over the place it's not the way i wanted to go but i've been battling time all day and it's not your fault that is my fault i should have started earlier i apologize to you guys this is my fault uh this video quality is going to be absolute crap and i really apologize i wanted it yeah i wanted it to be a lot better but Sadly, I had elements against me. I didn't have jack stands for the rear when I started this, so I had to the store and buy some. And I, I, I apologize, guys. I don't want to sit here and go on and on about how this video is crap. But hopefully you guys really like the way the brake calipers look. Like I said, if all works right, I will be able to drive. These get hot, but it'll have the heat primer and the heat clear on it, so it should protect that normal base coat, which is the normal spray paint. And hopefully it shouldn't bubble or anything like that. Like I said, I'm going to drive on it all week long and see if it bubbles or anything. I will give you guys a look at the calipers tomorrow. Probably just be a little B-roll time lapse of them with the wheels on just to see what they look like. But until then, I'll pick you guys up in a week. And like I said, again, I apologize that this video has kind of been all over the place. It's the next day. It is daylight. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see them in there, but... This is the first day with the calipers, and as you can tell, they're still nice and shiny. Get the truck put back together until about nine o'clock last night, so it was pitch black. But like I said, I am going to be driving on them for one week. I'll pick you guys up this coming weekend. I'll pull one of the tires off so you can get a good look at the caliper and see how well it actually held up. So I'll pick you guys up in one week all right everybody one week later and i told you i would update you with the bright calipers if anything changed now like earlier this was high temp primer normal spray paint just off the shelf you can get it at walmart anywhere spray paint and then high temp clear and as you can see i mean they're a little bit dirty they got brake dust on them i've been driving on them for a week but there are absolutely no bubbles i mean that's a stretch don't worry about that that's from probably when I put the wheel lights back on because they would not go back on very easily. But as you can see, there's no bubbles in it. There's no, no anything that would be from heat. I mean, honestly, they look pretty good. I'll give you a shot once I get the tire back on of what it looks like through the wheel. And all honestly, it's not very noticeable that they're painted unless you're looking for it. But it's little things like that that stand out to people when they see that you have this done to your truck like i say in the beginning of the video uh, i had never tried this before and you can use normal spray paint on brake calipers although they get hot and all these companies try and sell you all these different uh, color caliper paints and things like that and i said i couldn't find the color that i wanted to match the truck so i did a little bit more research found one video on youtube of a guy using normal paint and i was like you know what i'm gonna try that method and see if it works and it definitely worked the wheel on i'm sure if you know that the caliper is painted it definitely is noticeable i mean you can definitely tell that it's painted but if you don't know it's not something that's just going to stand out like a bright red or bright yellow brimbo brake caliper anything like that but you definitely can see them in there even while the wheel is turning and with the wheel lights on it doesn't make a big difference uh i'll include a picture of that with the wheel lights on doesn't make a very big difference but definitely is noticeable if you are looking for it and you might not be painting them purple so they might stand out a lot more you could be doing silver you could be doing green yellow bright red orange you could be doing any of those and they'll stand out a lot more than a purple one 
wood. But I did purple because, I mean, the truck's purple and I wanted the bright calipers to match. So that's the route I went with. So, I mean, you can do any color under the sun, but this is the way to paint your calipers with normal spray paint. It is possible, definitely, definitely worth trying. And you might have a good result. But you guys can use normal spray paint on your calipers. And I mean, honestly, this would probably work somewhere else. As you just saw, I used, I was like 1400 to 2000 degree primer and clear. So, I mean, you could use that just about anywhere on your truck because a lot of things aren't gonna get above 2000 degrees. So you should be perfectly fine. Uh, I know the brake calipers don't get that hot unless you're like completely doing a burnout and they're glowing red, but just normal driving, they're not gonna get that hot. You shouldn't have any problems with it. But if you want to paint like anything in your engine bay, I'm not going to say it's going to be perfect, but if it's anything like the calipers, it should work out fine. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to go down, hit the like button, drop a comment if you have any tips on anything like this or what you'd like to see on the channel. Hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya. So brother, sister, can you see our light,